started. Got it. Okay, well, welcome to our Apps for Visual and Auditory Skills webinar. I'm Laura Martinez. I am the Assistive Technology Program Manager at TASC. Good morning. I'm Elizabeth Ortega, Assistive Technology Coordinator at TASC. TASC is a nonprofit. We serve six counties in Southern California. We are a parent training and information center and a family empowerment center. We educate and empower people with disabilities and their families to become effective communicators and self-advocates. Our disclaimers that task staff are not advocates, attorneys, or attorneys. We do not provide recommendations, legal advice, or suggestions. Our family support specialists offer peer-to-peer -peer support, information, and options to parents of children with disabilities so they can become informed members of the IEP team and work collaboratively with schools. Our family support specialists help families understand the special education process by providing one-on-one -on -one phone consultations, virtual IEP consultations, and review of documentation. They also offer assistance with letter writing. They offer a variety of educational webinars, so for military families, information, and resources. Within our tech center, we offer a variety of assistive technology webinars, individualized online lab appointments if you're looking for specific apps, websites, um, Chrome extensions for your students or your children. We can schedule a one-hour appointment via Zoom. We can show you the apps that we have in the areas that you're looking for, any websites or Chrome extensions that we know of. We also offer AT consultations in clinics. For our AAC services, AAC is Augmentative Alternative Communication. We have Project Communicate, in which we offer a free one-hour AAC consultation with a speech-language pathologist. Let's Talk AAC is a webinar series. It's four webinars, and you can find those recordings on our YouTube channel. Tech Connection is our online social and life skill group for ages 14 and above. We meet once a month. If you'd like more information on Tech Connection, you can contact Laura. And we have a lot of information and resources on assistive technology. Tech Tidbits is our monthly assistive technology focus e-newsletter. If you'd like to receive it, please visit the website on the slide, plug in your name, email address, and you'll start receiving it the following month. And before we begin, at prices listed are subject to change by vendor. Links given are for vendor websites or they will lead you directly to the App Store to download the apps. All of the apps that Laura will show today are available for iDevices, iPad, iPhone. If they are available in other platforms, it will be indicated on the slide. I will email you a copy of the entire presentation after the webinar to the email address you use to register to, to attend today's webinar. And once again, if you're looking for specific apps for your children or your clients, you can either email Laura or myself. Thank you, Liz. Um, I'm going to go ahead and get started. So we have a variety of apps that help with auditory and visual skills. Um, the first one I'm going to start with is called Touch the Sound. It is available for iOS. It is intended for all ages and it's 99 cents. Um, I am going to... So when you open the app, you can go into the settings. What happened? It didn't like my. It doesn't like my fingers here. There we go. <clears throat> Excuse me. So you can um, turn on and off the sound. You can turn on and off labels, which will label each item. Uh, you can turn on and off the animated transitions. You can go in and customize pictures. So these are the categories. So you can um, change the pictures if you want to. Um, 
depending on what you want it to do. And you can turn on and off uh, concepts. Sorry, fat fingers. So you can um, hide things that um, the kiddos may not be familiar with, like maybe a bagpipe or you know, bicycle gears or whatever that might be. So you can turn things on and off and you can turn off entire categories if you want to do that as well. So you could turn off all but one if you want to or all but two. Okay. So I turned the label on so we can see what it is. Super. So I clicked the top right just so you can see. Okay. Maybe. Good work. It just um, makes it smooth. And you can choose what that is. I was talking. That Fantastic. Was So again, I could go in and, and take that, um, the labels off or not so that it would just look like that. Perfect. So that's touch the sound. Again, it's highly customizable. Alien Buddies is one that we've used for a long time that I really, really like. It is for iOS only and it's $2.99. Um, there's uh, four different activities. With matching, you can match colors, shapes, letters, and numbers. And you can do it either in auditory or visual mode, which is really amazing. Um, and I'll show you the other ones. Okay, so for matching, I can do visual. So I chose letters and I can choose matching lowercase to lowercase, upper to upper, or lower to upper. Drag the alien with the matching letter to the pod. If I get the wrong one, he gets ejected. We have our visual matching. If I go back and I choose auditory, I'll do name activity. Match the letter on the alien to the letter on the pod. Tap the pod to hear the letter. Then drag the alien with the same letter to the pod. I'm going to touch the speaker on the pod. Q. So then I'm doing auditory and visual matching. T. M. Okay, so that's matching. Then you have a puzzle. And you can choose four, six, or eight pieces. And there's a bunch of different choices. Drag the puzzle pieces to complete the puzzle. I don't feel too good. Excellent! Once you've completed a puzzle, you earn that sticker. And I'll show you in a minute what you can do with the stickers. The dot to dot. <clears throat> You can choose, please help, or I can do it myself. And I'll do... Connect the dots from lowest to highest. So you can see the number. 
numbers. One. Two. It will not let you go to the wrong number. Three. And the numbers are highlighted. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Eleven. Thirteen. Fifteen. Sixteen. And then the stickers, you have different backgrounds you can choose. And then at the bottom here are all the stickers that have been earned. And so you can then move any of those and make them larger or smaller. Put them in. drag this guy but there we go so you can do that and then you can take a photograph of it and it will save to your camera roll and there is a section that tells you about each um, activity skills that it covers. So that's Alien Buddies by Art Gig. Oops. The next one, this is a free app. It's called Marco Polo Recall, and it's sort of like the old Simon game, if you're familiar with that. <clears throat> but it um, tests your ability to recall and then repeat sequences of colorful lights and then also sounds. And there's four modes to it. There are ads on this one because it's free. It's showing me what to do. I'm just repeating. I'm going to get it right. I can move to the next. This one, clicker. So again, there are four. The second one, third one's kind of interesting. So we're in the dark. So you have to do two fingers, or I guess you could have two kiddos. <laughs> so that's Marco Polo Recall. If you have any questions, please feel free to type them in the chat. In case you came in late, you will be getting um, 
the handouts emailed to you um, after the webinar is over. So you'll have all the links. So this next one is called School of Multi-Step Directions. And um, it is made by Virtual Speech Center. And it has a lot of um, things that you can customize in it. And you can um, increase and make the directions to follow um, increasingly more difficult. It is for iOS only, it's $24.99. So um, under settings, there are, you can, <laughs> you can change what the incorrect sound is. You can set what the correct sound is. You can enable or disable the rewards. Um, you can enable background noise. So if you're working on auditory processing and you want to add difficulty, you can turn background noise on um, so that it's more difficult to decipher. And then you can adjust the volume of the um, background noise, which I really appreciate. When you go in, you have three choices, English, math, or chemistry. And then you do need to put your student in because it does keep track and there are reports. So I have a student set up in here and I can go in and I can select or deselect all activities depending on what I wanna work on. So if I have someone that's mastered two-step directions and I wanna go start with three-step, I can just undo the two-step directions if I want to. Um, and select them all. Same with four-step directions. And they you can set, if you're really just working on targeting something specific, I could just check off four-step directions with pictures or four-step directions with um, words. So you can really customize what you want to do Listen to the instructions carefully, and when you earn enough points, you can play a Pong game. Highlight the cat and underline the umbrella. So I'm going to highlight the cat and underline the umbrella. Once I'm done, I click go, and that was my... Positive sound. Underline the bed and touch the rake. So you choose your tool. Touch the shoes and underline the dog. So I'm going to finish and go. Great job, Tid. Go back out. Oops, sorry wrong one. I'm going to go back out and choose our I'm going to turn off the simpler directions. Listen to the instruction. Touch the book. Underline the dress and erase the apple. Highlight the cat, cross out the ball, and underline the umbrella. So we're on the three-step directions with pictures. Touch the fish, highlight the car, and underline the house. Cross out the bus, highlight the comb, and touch the doll. Oops. To cross it out. Oh, 
Oh, I got it wrong. Touch the eye. Cross out the apple and underline the belt. Great job today. See you next time. Oh. So, again, when you're going in and you're choosing the student, I just want to show you the different levels. So that's why I'm um, doing it that way. Going to show you words. All right. Listen to the instruct. Cross out the word lion. Underline the word dog. And erase the word man. Just so you can see what it looks like with the um, letters. Erase the word hat and underline the word cat and highlight the word man. So you get the idea. It gets increasingly more difficult. And it does keep... Great job today. Back. See you next time. I can go to view report and see what my student has done. And then you can either print or email each report. <clears throat> Excuse me, I have a frog in my throat. <clears> throat> uh, the next apps are from I Can Do apps and they have several really great um, apps that do different things. The ones I'm gonna show you are called uh, visual matching and then following directions, but they have so many more. Um, the app prices range between $199 and $599, depending on the app. So the visual matching, you have a choice. So you can match identical picture to picture. Just show you what that looks like. So just simple matching. If you get it wrong, it just pops back. Uh, the next step is match the picture to a line drawing. This is really important for object discrimination, especially if you have um, someone that's going to be using um, augmentative communication device that needs to learn um, Picture, you know, instead of uh, photographs, they might need to learn the symbol for that. Um, and then just for um, understanding that, you know, this bird, this is a bird and this is also a bird. So they look different, but they're both dogs. With brooms. And so on. So that can be a key skill because someone might not understand these are both the same, the same fruit. So that does work on that skill. Um, the third step is matching the picture to the word. So And then finally, the fourth one is a little more difficult. It's matching the picture to the description. So you use me to hear. So what do we have here? Oh, here's. You dribble me. You sweep with me. You read me. You use me to fly. 
So those are the four levels on the visual matching. Whoops. It's not letting me do what I want to do, but then <laughs> I was trying to show you, you can go in and um, just change the background from solid to cork. Sorry, I can't see. It's sideways for me, so. Okay, so I could turn reinforcement on and I could change um, what the background looks like. So you can see if that's a better background. You did it. So I turned the reinforcement on so I have that that praise. Excellent. So that's pretty much what you can customize in, in um, this app. Uh, same maker, different app. This is following directions by I Can Do Apps. And um, there's five levels. The first one is just touch the... If I hit touch the, the sun. Super. So I'm just following directions, listening, and then visually. Touch the boots. Or if they can read. Nice work. You can read it. That's right. Uh, the second one is touch, kind of touch this and then that. Touch the strawberry and then the top. Way to go. Pretty simple. The third one is before statements and the fourth one is after statements, so. Before you touch the apple, touch the orange. So we're gonna touch the orange and then the apple. You did it. So before you touch the snail, touch the fish. And if they get it backwards, you'll just get that and I'll have you go to the next one. Good job. The next one is after statements. Touch the arm after you touch the feet. And then number five mixes before and after. Touch the blueberries before you touch the apple. Hooray! So you get the idea. So that's following directions. And again, you can turn on the word and uh, turn on the words for support, and you can turn on reinforcement or you can turn them off. So again, I can do apps. There's a bunch of different ones. They have same and different. They have um, guessing who, what, where, who, what, where, when, why, and um, different se sequencing, identifying objects, things like that. Okay, so this one is specifically for visual motor integration skills, um, and it's called Dexteria VMI. It is iOS only, it's $5.99. And this basically has two activities to it. One, you're going to visually process multi-layered objects and recreate them. And then the, the next one is you're gonna match what someone else did. So I'll show you. Okay. So make this. Make this object. So I have to look at the object and figure out what goes in what order to match it, make it. Okay. 
and it does get um, more difficult as you go. Pretty straightforward. Um, it does get more difficult as you go with the layering. And then it will take you. Now we're on Make this two. object. So now on level two, we don't just have the, the three choices. Now we have to figure out um, what size did we use? And it does give you the chance to kind of play with it and see making those matches. So you have to choose from a much larger field and um, make sure you have the right size of everything as well. <clears throat> and then again, gets increasingly more difficult. And then, so we did make this. The next one is match this. Match this object. So it starts out pretty simple. There are some that are identical in the choice field. If you choose the wrong thing, it just kind of you try again. Match this object. So level two, you just have to find the match. So one is making and the other is matching. And then you go into, oh, that's it, huh? There is a report um, for each person. It's an activity log, and you can see um, what the accuracy was and how long it took them for each level. And you can email it if you want. And so this is Dexteria VMI by Binary Labs. Do we have any questions? No, nothing? Okay. The next one is also for visual. This is visual attention therapy. And this is kind of a, a neat app. It um, helps with visual neglect and improves awareness of the neglected side of space. If you happen to be right eye or left eye dominant. Um, and I don't know if you may be familiar, they have a lot of, they used to have a lot of worksheets that you would do this with. This is kind of a, a digital worksheet and it is available for iOS and Android. There's a free light version that only has some activities and then $9.99 for the full version. It's by Tactus Therapy. So um, you can set up to email results. You can um, fix canceled targets. You can fade them out, cross them out. You can do different things. You can change the color of the signal, which you'll see in a minute. For tests, you can choose where the signal location is, which you'll see. How many of trials per level? How many targets? and how many number of choices. So how many are in there? I think for our case, we'll do 24. And then under practice, you can customize it as well. So you can do test, again, a lot of different things you can um, 
you can choose what level you want to work on. Do you want them to, to do the same symbol, the same letter? Do you want symbols and letters dissimilar? Um, and you can check on and off which ones you want to work on. So now it's giving me the direction up here to touch every sun, I would call it a sun. And what it wants you to do is in left to right order, like you would read, because this app works on that skill of reading left to right. So we found them all. So go through and do the same thing. So then I can view the report, email the results, try again, or be done. So with the test, again, you can um, choose different things you might want to work on. You can move things. So now I have two targets, two things to check for. And I have this, I chose left, so I have this big red line on the left. So now I have to find the regular stars and the fancy stars. I'm gonna go um, and show you the practice. Now, again, this works on the left to right scanning. You can choose no signal, a left or a right, which is that line, and then how many trials per level, <clears throat> excuse me, and how many choices, that means how many objects are in that field. Um, when you choose the higher number, it can be quite complex trying to pick those out. So this is gonna give me the instructions to touch every T, find each of these in order, left to right, top to bottom, which is how we read. I just wanna show you what it looks like with the larger. So I, <laughs> I chose a lot, you know, more choices. It really does make it um, difficult, especially if you have someone that has um, a learning disability or is dyslexic or um, has Erlen syndrome like me, um, looking at all, trying to find the Bs um, can be difficult. I don't know if I want to torture myself and do this. Again, you have to do them in order on this one. Oh, oh I missed one. So it will tell you so you can go back. I think I'm going to go back. So again, you have up to 228 targets. I usually start with the 24 or the choices I mean, and then you can move up the target so you can have multiple, find the A's and the B's. Or again, you can go back in and choose if you didn't want, um, you can customize it to the user. That's what I was trying to say. So that's Visual Attention Therapy by Tactus. So this one, um, we had another app that they stopped making um, that we really liked where you had to find, um, find objects within a, within a page. 
And then I started looking at these apps from EduJoy and I thought these spot the difference apps can be really um, tricky sometimes. And so I've provided two here. The first one called Spot the Differences is intended for children. It's got a more, more cartoon type look. Um, there's a free version, but if you want to remove the ads, it's $2.99. And then there's, a, a, I don't want to say adult, maybe for older children or depending on the user, there's one that has actual pictures and not cartoons called Find the Differences. And um, really helpful for visual training. It is free or $1.99 to remove the ads. So I just want to give you a glimpse of those. And it's EduJoy is the name of the, the vendor. So not a whole lot you can you can do in here, but you can go in and choose. And whatever you choose, there's a ton. There's like a hundred different puzzles. So just to give you an idea. So here, let's do this mermaid. So you have to find seven differences. And these are hints. And of course, you can earn more hints by watching um, videos if you have the, um, the non-paid version. So mine is sideways, so it's going to be a little harder. But so you have to spot, so there's no fish here. And if you guys see something, put it in the chat because I'm terrible at these. So no bubbles here. So you gotta look, look through and you really have to work on that um visual discrimination because the um I don't know if you see that this one's lighter than this one but the um the changes are really subtle on some of them some of them they're obvious but some of them they're subtle so you have to go through and find now if you get down dolphin teeth The bottom right. Good one. Thank you. Any more? Who's good at this? <laughs> you guys see any more? Her hair. What's up with her hair? Oops. Did you guys see a certain spot on her hair? Lower. Lower part of the hair. Ah, good job. Bottom left of her. Okay, got it. So we have one more if anybody can get it. Otherwise, we have these little light bulbs up here. And what they do is just kind of sparkle to tell you what it is. And then you earn your stars. You can do them in whatever order if you have the full version. If you have the um, free version, you have to go in in number order, I guess, is the best way. So you can see how that would be a little, you know, it does take concentration. Thank you guys for your help. I just want to show you what the other one looks like, um, just the pictures. So this one is find the differences. And there are a lot of choices, but they're actually like real pictures. So you would go through and pay. Oh, I probably picked the hardest one, right? Laura? Huh? It's just oh. a solid yellow. Rude. Sorry, let me try stopping that. Maybe I have too many things open. Well, trust me, it's there. I don't know why. Do I get stuck? Yeah, 
am totally stuck. All right, I'm gonna have to log out and log back in, huh? No, I closed it. All right, let me try this. Technical difficulties of presenting on your iPad. I've got it pulled up and nothing's going. Should I try stop sharing? Yes. <laughs> Sorry about that. Technical difficulties on the iPad. Um, I'm not going to open that one just in case, but um, it does work because I've been kind of obsessed with playing them, um, but they're nice, colorful pictures, um, actual photograph pictures on the find the, it's called find the 10 differences when you look it up. I put the direct links because there are so many. The next one is by Super Duper Publications. It's called Food Frenzy, Following Directions. I like this one because it um, works on different types of directions. So you have basic, sequential, quantitative, spatial, conditional, and temporal. And there's 17 different activities and three levels. Again, it's called Food Frenzy. I always put the icons up in the top so you guys can know that you have the right app if you're looking for it because there's so many apps out there. So with Food Frenzy, you can pick um, easy, medium, or hard. Before you add mayonnaise to the burger, put lettuce on the burger. So lettuce, then mayonnaise. Deliver a tray to one green car that is above a green vehicle. Uh oh. Take a tray to table four, then deliver a tray to the red table. Add onions to the salad. You have a repeat button up here too, if you need to. Add guacamole to the taco, then put jalapeno on the taco. So I was in quick play, but I can also, oh, you can have a timer if you want. I don't like to turn the timer on. I can set up a new game and a new player. Oh, did I delete myself? There we go. So I can go in and I can choose for each player the setting that I want to put it on. So easy, medium, or hard, depending. I can set the number of seconds or put it on unlimited, the time that you have to um, complete the directions, and then you can turn the audio on or off if you're working on reading. And then you can choose the direction types. Maybe I've got basic directions down, so I might turn that off for this student and work on the rest, or maybe I just want to work on um, one specific one. So I'm going to save. If one hamburger is on the tray, put two salads on the tray. So we have no hamburgers, so we're just going to do nothing. After you put pineapple on the pizza, put tomatoes on the pizza. So pineapple, tomatoes, and check. 
Add mustard to the hot dog. Then add onions to the hot dog. So I don't know if you can see the green line. That's kind of the timer. Add mustard to the hot dog. Then add onions to the hot dog. So you can Before you that. deliver a tray to table five, take a tray to table three. So three, five. Before you slice three squashes, cut one tomato. I just wanted to point out, it'll tell you um, what type of directions you are working on. Before you slice three squashes, cut one tomato. Uh-oh, no, no, no. If an order of chicken nuggets is not on the tray, put a Sunday on the tray next to a hamburger. Add mustard to the burger, then add onions to the burger. So and then it does record your results, what you worked on, what you got wrong, what you got correct. Oops. So again, if you choose hard, it's going to be more difficult in more directions. So that's food frenzy. Next, we're going to get into some of our Hamaguchi, our friends from Hamaguchi make some great apps. The first one I'm gonna show you is called Fun With Directions. It also has a partner or a second app they came out with what's called More Fun With Directions. Uh, what I like about these is they do have 99 cent light versions that you can purchase. Um, and then if you like them and you find them useful, you can pay $15.99 to upgrade to the full version or just continue to use the light version, it's up to you. Welcome to Fun with Directions Light. So I wanted to show you what the light version looks like. This is the 99 cent version. It does ask me if I want to upgrade to the full version. Um, I can go set users. I just have a guest in right now. If I set the user, I can customize to that user. So, um, I have guest user in there, but so I can go into settings and I can choose, do I want easy, intermediate or advanced? And you can play around with it to see uh, what your student is. Then I can um, turn on and off concepts and you'll see what that means in a minute. Um, they'll say touch this or give this to someone. The order of concepts, I have mine random, but you can do it where you complete um, each activity and then move up as you go. Superstar directions are special directions and you can have them. You can just not use them. You can do them after each question. I have mine set for after three or you can randomize it. Tracking progress, I don't have a user set up. Um, you can set it up to touch and tap if you have someone that struggles with touching and dragging, or if you wanna work on touching and dragging, you can choose that option. And then I have voice commands on, which I'll show you. Touch something that says cock-a-doodle-doo. Touch something that says cock-a-doodle-doo. Give the dog something to throw. Then drag it to the dog's rug. Oh, didn't listen to all Thanks. of this. Thanks. Touch something that hisses. The next direction is a superstar direction. Listen carefully. After the direction, try to remember what you had to do. 
Give the boy something that drives. Thanks. Well, it just booted me out. My iPad's not a happy camper today, huh? Welcome to Fun with Directions Light. Rude. Touch something that says woof woof. I just wanted to point out at the top, you can click new concept. So if we're, you know, touching and we want to move on to something else. Give the girl something to sleep on. It'll say give. Touch something that goes on a track. So you can switch Give up the, the girl concept. something to put on when it's cold outside. Thanks. And then, of course, when you Give have the, the dog full, something to put on when it. When you have the full version, you can customize it and there's a lot more um, choices, but. The 99 cent version works well, too. So also Hamaguchi apps, but a totally different um, set of apps are the listening power apps. Now they have three different ones. Um, they all have 99 cent light versions and it's $19.99 for the full versions, which is nice. It allows you to try. So there are three levels to the listening power apps. Um, they all have listening games and they're all more complex the higher the level. So the first one is preschool level. And um, they were all developed by a speech language pathologist. And so they have ages listed. Um, I kind of um, depends on the student and the level they're at. This one says three and a half through six. It is for iOS only. Then there's listening power for grades K through three. And this is what the little icon looks like there. And this, um, you go to listening for descriptions, listening for meaning, listening for grammar, listening for words, um, for memory and stories. And then finally, the listening power for grades four through eight plus um, focuses more on language processing. So grammar, vocabulary, narrative and question comprehension, and then obviously it works on auditory memory, closure, auditory figure ground. So I was just gonna show you a couple, um, just so you could see the difference. So does anyone have preference since it's a small group, um, what level you would like to see? If you type it in the chat, otherwise I will pick. Okay. So there's a K to three. Okay, somebody wants the three and a half. Okay, so I'll do the preschool and- Welcome then... to Listening Power Preschool Light. So um, this is the preschool one. Very, uh, the settings are very similar to the other Hamaguchi apps. You can go in and you can choose your activities. Um, this one is quite advanced, so you can choose your level. Um, how many choices, answer choice, you know, how many choices they have, how many uh, things are on there. Um, you can choose, so you could mix it up if you wanted. So maybe if they're really good at listening for directions, you want to bump it up higher, listening for grammar and meaning, um, meaning stories with and without pictures. And then you can choose how many answer choices. What level, so we have it on auto advance, so it just moves up. And then there's a game that you can set. I'm gonna turn the text on. Which one is the tallest? Tallest. Listen. Show me the girl who is up. She's up. The dog is his. Which one is it? That dog is his. 
Listen to this story. A mother gave her baby a snack. Yum! Apples! The baby was being silly and threw them on the floor. <laughs> Ready? Who threw the apples? The baby. What did the mother give her baby? So if they're not sure, you, you're prompting them, you can hit here again and it will say it again. Apples. Correct. Who gave the apples to the baby? The mom. Listen to this story. A friendly frog hopped onto Joe's bed. Sorry, I'm going to stop in the interest of time, but then the next story is told with no pictures, so there's no visual cues, so it's all auditory. So again, it gets increasingly um, more difficult depending. So that was the preschool one. And this was the light version. And then the case. Welcome to Listening Power Light. Again, you can um, put in your users and customize, have the same type of choices. You can, I have it on intermediate, but you could move it up. How many choices? And then levels. Where is the girl in the green dress who is holding a little brown puppy? There's the girl in the green dress who is holding a little brown puppy. You did it. Listen to these words. Square. Bone. Apple. Shoe. Tap on the pictures you heard. Square. Square. Bone. Apple shoe. You remembered all of them. So with that one, you have to, you can't just automatically Listen, start pressing. Listen, I will tell you a story. You can touch here to add background noise. After the story, I'll ask you some questions about it. On July 4th, 1971, a very special girl was born in San Francisco, California, even though most of her family lived in Africa. This special girl was really strong and could even climb trees like a monkey. She had a hard time understanding what people said like most other girls who are like her, but her ears were healthy and strong. She could hear everything that was said just fine, but she could not speak. With a lot of hard work and dedication, this sweet girl learned to understand 2,000 spoken words, which is more than anybody like her had ever done before. She could touch pictures when asked to show she understood what the word meant. She also learned 1,000 words in sign language, which she understood and could make the signs for. That is how she learned to communicate with people around her. People were amazed at how well she learned because there had never been another girl like her before that learned so much. When she was a teen, she had a pet cat. When the cat was killed in an accident with a car, she signed cry, frown, sad, cry. 
That doesn't seem like such a big deal, but this story is about someone named Coco, and she is a gorilla. Where was Coco born? San Francisco Chicago So this is all auditory. How does Coco talk to people? She uses sign language. She uses a computer. So you go through and answer. I'm going to click next activity. What happened that made Coco sign cry, frown, sad, cry? Which of the following is not true about the story? Coco was taught 1,000 words in sign language. Coco had a special surgery on her brain to help her be smart. I guess it's not going to let me. It's not letting me choose. So there's all different... Um, there's all different activities. So there's listening for the description, for meaning, for grammar, for word memory, and then that was the listening for stories. So there's a bunch of different activities in each of the, the apps, um, each of the leveled apps. Um, and again, you can choose what you're wanting to focus on and just uncheck what you don't want to focus on. So that's the listening power. And, oh, is that it? We're done. That is it. So if you have um, any questions, you're welcome to answer. Type them in the chat here. Or if you want to uh, talk about a specific person, um, student, uh, you know, client, your child, um, you're an adult, anybody, um, you can contact Liz or myself and um, we can help you out um, privately. Liz, put the link.